Every time I upload a video, there's at least one or two people that ask me, so who the hell is Ebony Warrior? What is his story? Where does it come from? Why can he shout? He's a red guard, can he go to Southern Guard? <laughs> There's always someone that will ask me about him. Every every episode of Warplay, man, every single commentary I make, there's always somebody. And I figure I should do a video on it. Now, let me just, from the get-go, warn you that, that there's really no information on the Ebony warrior himself. Who he is, where he comes from, what has he done, and how can he do the things that he does. There's really no information. And what we're going to be talking about here is really just speculative. <laughs> and to some degree, maybe even like wishful thinking. But there is stuff in there that is, if anything, very curious and deserves to be talked about. Now, as far as the Ebony Warrior himself, the, there is nothing specifically dedicated to him. There are no books. Uh, there's really no dialogue because he doesn't really say anything. He, We know that he's a Red Guard. We know that he wants to go to Southern Guard, which ex kind of explains in some way that not only Nords can go to Sovngarde and really depends on whether you're honorful and whether you die in battle and all of that good stuff. Uh, <clears throat> we know that he's special. He is, he's definitely taller than any other NPC in the game. Uh, we know that he has perks like your player character does. You know, like when you level up, you can choose perks. He has those. So he hits harder than normal enemies. He can take more damage than normal enemies. He, uh, obviously his armor is extremely enchanted. Very good. He's resistant to really any type of magic. He can even shout. So he, he's just, he's special. For all terms and purposes, he is the last boss of Elder Scrolls Skyrim. More so than Alduin, more so than Harkon, and more so than, than Mirak, right? He, he is special. That we know. Now, the interesting thing, though, is that there is actually a warrior god to Hammerfell that is not popular at all. This is not a character that you will find... <laughs> you, If you're lucky, you might find him in the wiki, but you, you need to know his name specifically to even find him. You will not find him in the pantheon of the Red Guards. You will not find him in... Uh, any game out like you won't find him in Morrowind, you won't find him in Oblivion, you won't find him in Skyrim, and you will definitely not find him in ESO. This guy is completely a mystery and has been, f for whatever reason, removed from the story. We don't know why, <laughs> but we know that uh, Bethesda has purposefully removed this guy. Uh, and let let's talk about him a little bit. So this guy is the Warrior God. Or used to be. Let's just let's just talk in the present terms for you know simplicity simplicity's sake. This guy is the warrior god of of the Alakir people of the of the Red Guards. He is supposed to be this avatar of what a warrior person should be like. You know, like someone that a warrior would look up to. This this warrior that is clad in an Ebony armor, wearing an Ebony sword, wearing this massive shield with his long red hair that, that flows in the wind. Uh, a warrior of invincible might, right? Now, there are some very interesting and very curious similarities between this guy and the Ebony Warrior. Obviously, I mean, the one obvious similarity is that they both wear exclusively Ebony armor and Ebony swords. Uh, both are also defined by this. I mean, when, you, when you're playing... Uh, when you're playing as the Ebony Warrior, like, that's the one thing that defines him. He is the Ebony Warrior. He doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a nationality, really. He doesn't tell you anything. He, <laughs> he doesn't really have an attitude. He's just the Ebony Warrior. Well, the same thing with the with, with this Warrior God, and the, the name of this Warrior God is Even Arm. Um, the reason he's called Even Arm is because his arm is actually fused with his sword. Apparently, he had this cataclysmic, titanic battle in the beginnings of time, probably in the Merthic era and uh, the injuries that he suffered in his arm made it so that he had to fuse his arm with his sword in order to be able to battle. So his arm is literally an Ebony sword. <laughs> so you can see the similarities, right? You, you have a warrior that is defined by the Ebony armor and weapon that he possesses, just like the Ebony warrior in Skyrim is. Um, but uh, just to this point, you might probably say, well, yeah, that's just a fucking coincidence. And you might be right. You might, yeah, it might just be a, a stupid coincidence. I, I think that the important thing here, and the fact that I think intrigues me the most, is that the Ebony Warrior is not just a Nord. 
and he could have been a Nord. I mean, he wants to go to Sovngarde, and he was his script was designed so that you would fight him because he wants to die in a battle so that then he could go to Sovngarde, right? His whole personality in-game is defined by the fact that he wants to go to Sovngarde, yet the developers of Skyrim chose to not make him a Nord, which goes against everything. They specifically went out of their way to not make him a Nord, and instead they made him a Red Guard. Yes, the Evony Warrior is a Red Guard. If you take his helmet off, he is a Red Guard. So that is another coincidence that... See, one coincidence is one thing, but two coincidences might be a something else, right? I'm not saying that he is. All I'm saying is that now we got two coincidences. He shares a lot with this even armed god and he also happens to be a red guard which is a strong coincidence that was purposefully made to be that way right now outside of coincidences there are a couple of things that make it the opposite uh legends say that this even arm god wears a shield emblazoned with a rose because the thing about this warrior is that wherever he would go like in battle and stuff uh, red roses would bloom. Like, that was just like a thing he would do. Roses would just bloom wherever he would go. I mean, remember, this guy is a god, so he can make that happen if he wants to. Um, he used to have a horse, uh, a golden stallion. Uh, what was the name of this horse? War Master, I think it was called. It was a silly, silly name. War Master or like War uh, Victoria, something like that. But uh, the thing is, he, he used to wear this kind of like demigod looking. I mean, godly horse, which obviously doesn't appear in Skyrim, neither does the shield. Uh, and uh, the most, I guess, important thing is that the Evony Warrior's arm is not fused with the sword, which is obviously the biggest uh, telltale that he might just not be this, this god. Uh, I believe you can also even remove the Evony sword of the Evony Warrior after you kill him. <clears throat> um, I think one of the most important things. Uh, one of the more likely things uh, that I think is worth discussing is that this even warrior might just be a, a fan, <laughs> a, 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 you know, like farm of some cult or maybe some kind of uh, disciple of even arm. But even arm is uh, see according to the story, even arm is supposed to be a big god. Like if you're in Skyrim and you go to battle, you pray to Talos. That's that's the person that you want to pray to if you want to succeed in battle, right? In Hammerfell. Even arm is the guy you pray to. If you go to war, you say, "Please, even arm, make me win this fucking battle." Like that—that's what you do in Hammerfell. So he's kind of a big guy. The problem is that he was completely removed from the Elder Scrolls series. Uh, he appears a lot in Daggerfall. He well, not appears, but you know, he makes appearances in Daggerfall. Uh, you know, like the, the the mosques, the the warrior. Every single warrior's guild that is in Hammerfell is supposed to be is supposed to venerate him. Like, that's how big he is, right? Just like Talos is in Skyrim, like, this evil arm is supposed to be like that in Hammerfell. Every every mosque knows him and venerates him. Um, there's a couple of stories of, of him in battle and uh, and his exploits. Uh, but the thing is, this is Daggerfall. If you play Daggerfall, you will you will hear about this guy. But then after that, boom, gun. Just, just gun. Nothing. He does, he, the book where he appears does not exist in Morrowind does not exist in Oblivion and does not exist in Skyrim. Just they never republished the book again in any of the Elder Scrolls game. Uh, the one place that actually re-added uh, re his book was Elder Scrolls Online. The thing is, and this is the part that gets like conspiracy theory. This is the part that that is crazy. The the same book where he makes an appearance in in Daggerfall. It's just a silly story about. Uh, some some guy that like was going to battle and he lost like his family or something doesn't matter pointless the point is this character in this story makes a couple of references to even arm you know like someone would say pray to tell us well he he's he's like oh thank the even arm that i make this or oh i wish even arm would bless me right now like you know he makes a couple of uh, of quotes like that in the book in in daggerfall but in eso they're completely removed they literally added the same story the same book but they removed every single mention from Evonarm. Completely gone, dude. Completely gone. He doesn't exist anymore. It's like Bethesda just wants to bury this god and, 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 and just erase it from the history books, which is crazy. If you go to if you go to the wiki right now and, and you were to look uh, at the uh, Redgar Pantheon, he, he's not there. He doesn't exist. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what happened with this guy. 
And by the way, the, 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 the actual page in the wiki, I know the wiki is made by people. Uh, if, you, if, you look, if you go into the annotations and you see where they got that information, there's a book in Skyrim uh, called, I don't remember the name of the book anymore, but it's like the other uh, faith, it, faiths in, um, in Tamriel. And the book that you can find in Skyrim actually tells you the divinities, the pantheon of every single race. So you'll find like the the, the the pantheon of the Bosmer, the pantheon of the Khajiits, the pantheon of Skyrim, the pantheon of, you know, it's all there, right? And in that pantheon, you will see that this warrior god doesn't actually exist in the pantheon. So I don't know, I, I, Bethesda just removed it for whatever reason. So it makes me believe that maybe this was just some kind of, I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I wanna know what you guys think because it's weird, right? Because they went out of their way to make a, an even new warrior character that happens to be Redguard. What? Like, you know, it's, it's so, the coincidences are so crazy. I don't understand. And then they just went out to uh, out of their way to completely remove this god from existence. So uh, it's weird. It's very weird. Uh, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> so some conspiracy theories in there, but I think it's, it's fun. And, and, and you guys have been asking me what I thought about him and where he comes from. And you guys were hoping that I could give you some lore on it. And this is all I can do. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks.